and welcome to the Unfiltered Gamer live stream. Tonight we are playing some small board games. You'll see we have a few here. We'll go over them in just a second. I'm Callie and I'm here playing games with my friends Caleb. Hello. Alicia. Max. How's it going everybody? And Michael who will be joining us in just a second. And uh, we have some small games to play tonight, like I said. So a lot of these are kind of card games, token games, uh, and more. most of them play a good amount of players, too, which is nice, or can play. Um, so up to five or six players we'll be playing with, but depending on the game, two to five players each game. And we'll start off with Overstocked which is a little card game about stocking your toy warehouse. Uh, we also will play Vita Mors, which is a sort of hidden role uh, team-based game where you play the Grim Reaper influencing the Plague Doctor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then over there, Soloween, which is a two-player uh, kind of game of, of back and forth with uh, on souls. soul collecting souls via like kind of four in a row or different shape patterns that you have to create so three small games at least that we'll play tonight and we'll get started with overstocked first up it is a card game with a few tokens that plays one to six players, ages 12 and up, takes about 20 minutes to play, and it's by Play for Keeps. All right, here's the top down view of Overstocked. You can see we've already set up the game for our five players. And we each start with a card in front of us, which is our warehouse, as well as a hand of six uh, warehouse cards. In addition, you'll notice in the middle, this is the popularity card or warehouse. So it is a place where we can also, we'll be able to build on and we'll be using that to gauge our multipliers for how many points we score in our own warehouse. So on our, on your turn, players will be, there an extra card? Yeah, that one. Could you grab me this an extra one? card? Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Players will be choosing a card from their hand Placing it down, we'll simultaneously flip them over. Player with the lowest number on the card will go first. And you can choose to place the card either in your own warehouse or in the popularity warehouse. When you place the card in the warehouse, you'll want it to cover either one or two toy spaces. So there are also some spaces, we don't have an example here, where it'll be a blank crate. That doesn't count for covering. So if I wanted to, I could place here. I could place maybe here. Now I have three of the little fuzz balls or <laughs> in the row here, the pink fuzz balls. Or if I wanted to play on the popularity, maybe I don't, I want, um, you know, more of these over here. Now we've got five fuzz balls. Another note for placing cards, you cannot cover the little worker symbols, so the little yellow triangles and the workers with the hard hats can't cover those guys so that's a restriction there at the end of the game after we've all played our we played six rounds played all of our six cards either here or here then we will tally our scores so one important thing to note about the scores is <clears throat> that whatever the the largest uh, sort of all con contiguous group in the popularity warehouse is that one actually got overstocked so it's going to be negative points for the game so you want to be careful with that because let's say right now i only have one times five that would be negative five points right but if i add more that would not be great and that's why it's important to keep an eye on this and also look and see otherwise you'll multiply your largest area by the largest area in the popularity warehouse. So the teddy bears would be the multiplier of two. And that that's the game. You guys have any questions? Are these Tamagotchis different? <laughs> <laughs> so no, those all count as the little game characters. I don't know if we can actually call them Tamagotchis or not. <laughs> I mean, we can, I guess. In the game, they don't. 
The button Shuffle. pets. Yeah, yeah I was... Electronic pets. I was going to say yeah, those yeah. look like Furbies. Yeah. <laughs> Baby, 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 these are all like my childhood toys. Yeah, Tamagotchis, Furbies, uh-huh. Bee Babies. Bee Babies, a tie. Yeah. Yo-yos. Yeah. Are we going to look at all, the, all these? Yeah, so you can look at all the cards in your hand. And you'll choose one to play for the first round. So just to make sure, yep. we don't want, let's say, these right here. You were saying that if we have five of these Furbies, I guess you would call them, and they're multiplied, that would be overstocked, and it's a negative point. So we don't want more of them on yeah, here. Yeah, whatever is the most here, you don't want to lie in your warehouse. Oh, so, so the it, it counts as negative points for you if there's too many over here. Yes. So whatever the highest amount in the popularity warehouse is, that one's going to be the one that is overstocked, and it's going to be negative points for everyone. And so they'll multiply it by however many they have. So remember, the lowest number will go first each round. So I'm number one. Oh, no, um... The one when the on the card you play. play, yeah. Oh, okay. It's definitely a spatial kind of puzzly. Yeah, it will go face down first, so you don't have to indicate where it's going to be played at all yet. How many numbers are there? Uh, I think as many as there are cards. You have the rule book over there, and then the first page says the number of cards, forty or something. Oh, thirty-six. Forty-one. Okay. And then, okay. I think. Where do you see 41? On the front page? No, the cover. Cover. Oh. Oh, 43. Yeah. Okay, everyone's placed down a card. We'll flip it over. And everyone say their number. 14. 33. 9. 17. 40. Okay, Caleb's going to go first. So you're going to choose. Wait, but you had 17. His is lower, 9. Oh, I was looking at that one. Oh. <laughs> that's why everyone that's said their number. Oh. And Caleb, you're going to choose where to place your card. So you can go in your own warehouse or on there. I feel like this is going to be more important late game when we're trying to like, oh, what do we have a lot of? <laughs> yeah, so if I place... We want to keep some space here. So yeah. yeah. So if I place it in my warehouse, I could... You have to cover one or two toy spaces. So, let's see. And you want large areas of the same type of toys as long as they're not the most popular. So I could do that. Yep, you could. That's covering two spaces. It's not covering a worker, right? No. Right, you're good. Okay. The next, is it me? 14. 14, Michael. Okay. Okay. And then I'll go. Okay. And then Alicia, going to play on your own as well. All right. (laughs) Gosh dang it. Okay. Okay. I'm actually going to be playing over here. Oh. Now the Furbies right now, the first round are are leading the way as a negative score. Yikes. Okay. <laughs> That's not what we wanted. Mm, not necessarily. Okay. Maybe it is Maybe. what you want. Maybe. <laughs> Cover one or two. Okay. Mm-hmm. Did you say we, we can or can't cover this? You you can cover that. It okay. won't count as covering the one or two spaces, though. Okay. But if I cover this and that, it's one space. Yep, that's okay. perfectly fine. Maybe. Yeah. I'll hmm. Do okay. Everyone's Ready? played a card. Reveal. 28. 12. 30, 35. 37. 4. Okay, Michael plays first. 
Oh, look at those teddies. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of bears. Uh huh. Twelve. Caleb, you're up. Okay. Then Alicia. Oh, snap. Oh, well. <laughs> 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 I thought it was going to cover it. <laughs> it. It did cover it. It just covered more, right? Okay, and then I'm going... Oh, I can't cover that one. Okay. Oh, wait. I can flip this, though, right? I can go like that. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> I do want to cover this. Okay, I thought I'd be able to get both of these. Yeah, I could do that. That's not the worst. So I'm covering two spaces here. Let's uh, go ahead, Max. Gonna be going just like that. Hmm. All right. Um. Next round. Card down. My truck. That's the back of a truck. Okay. <laughs> All right, sure. You have to kind of like flip your cards around. Yeah. Let's see. 19. 20. 39. 32. 42. Wow. Okay. 19 <laughs> is the lowest. Whoa. I want saving their little cards for the end. I'm going <laughs> to put my hard hat right there. All right. Next is Michael. I'm gonna cover some Furbies. <laughs> or add more Furbies. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh, this way? Yeah. I'll go. Wait, it's Caleb next. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Can you see it? All right. All right, you done, Caleb? Mm-hmm. Well, I am stacking mine right there. That's a lot of uh, negative points right there. For Furby. For yeah. Furby, yeah. <laughs> it could change though, that's the, <clears throat> the whole thing as well. Hmm. I can't okay. cover these hard hat guys. No. Mm -mm. Nope. You can cover those two. Or this one. Okay, card down. Okay. And reveal. 22. 24. 16. <laughs> 36. 27. Wow. <laughs> okay, um, almost in order. I want all my hats in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. I guess. No. Well, yeah. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. Okay. I got 27. I have 24. Mm. Okay. 
Go ahead, Mike. Okay, only two cards left, only two rounds. The choices, the choices, the choices. Mm -hmm. This one. Yikes. Reveal. Reveal. 11. 30. 26. 41. <laughs> okay. What did I want to do with this? <laughs> That's the hard part, too. Remember where you want to play. Oh, sorry. Sorry, it's okay. I think I can cover one or two. Don't want it to be. <clears throat> yeah, I'll go ahead. Oh, wow. Then Alicia, then... Max is next. Max. Then Michael. Alright, last card. Play down and reveal. Garbage. Three. Eight. Eight. Forty-three. <laughs> Thirty-eight. Okay. Caleb, you first. Do you think you want people want to play it first? No, oh, it's the actually you want to play last. <laughs> <laughs> it just turned out. I think I've way. played last the entire time. <laughs> I never had any low cards. I had two at the beginning, 13 and so something. So if we have too many Furbies on here, that's a lot of negative points. Yes. Uh, it's, is it for every single Furby you have? Or is it just the, the, the highest the, total the, amount? The highest grouping. Yeah. So like so, I have a grouping of two right now. So Cal Callie would get negative 12 points. Mm -hmm. so, you would get negative 6 points. So... Good. If I added that, I would get more negative points over here. Added it where? Somewhere on here. Oh, yes. Nice. So you could this. take this and cover these these two. Mm -hmm. And you would create a really big grouping of Furbies here. Mm -hmm. And everyone is going to score negative on Furbies. So in my case, I have two Furbies. And I would go two times four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I would lose 20 points. Oh, my. Alicia would lose 30 you would only lose 10, Max would only lose 10, and Callie would lose 20 as well. <laughs> so you can increase the number of negative points people are like, likely to receive, or you can put this on your board, which uh, will hurt you. It's dangerous right now. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, also, if you don't want to give negatives, you could just simply do this, and it's still going to be this grouping. This is the biggest grouping. Oh, okay, so I see. Yeah. Okay. So it's up to you. I mean, in, in, in my opinion, your move is to make it bigger because you have yeah. the least big grouping. You only have one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh. And you got two workers there that can't be covered. Yep. Um, For a doll. Callie, you're up. Okay. Play. You're going to have to put it out there. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't do much. But... You blocked one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you went from three to three as a burpee. <laughs> I'm at 38, so you're the highest max. So I'm at 43. I'm yeah. the highest. Right, right. Yeah, and I have that's 38. what you said. Um, <laughs> I wish these were the opposite way. I could cover yeah. this for bonus points. It's never exactly the way you want it. <laughs> That's okay. 
That's fine. I'll put that. Well, this one, I guess. Okay. Oh. And that's it. That's the game. So we're going to tally up our points now, right? Yes. So, uh, let's see. You can Alicia, move yours up a little bit, Max. Caleb, Kelly, Max. Yep. Michael. Okay, so Tamagotchi's first. So we know the the Furby <laughs> pink guys will be the negatives. So Tamagotchi's are positive four times your largest area. Two. Eight for me. <laughs> Caleb. Um. Six times four. So you have six here. Mm-hmm. And times four, twenty-four. I have five times four, twenty. Max eight. Eight, Michael. Eight for oh, eight points. Yeah, okay. I yeah. have five times four, twenty. Okay. And then yo-yos, Alicia. Three. They're only worth one point each, Caleb. <laughs> Two. Two. I have. You have six. Yeah. Max nine. Michael. Two. Two. Okay, now Furby, these are the negatives. How many are there there, Michael? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine times three. three. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Caleb, negative nine. Me, negative eighteen. <laughs> negative nine. Negative nine. Michael. Negative eighteen. Okay. And now the... Teddy bears. Teddy bears. Alicia. Three. Time. Three. So nine. Caleb. Is that four? That's five. 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 So fifteen. I have nine as well. Nine as well for me. And I have seven total. So twenty-one. Alright, and then these are four additional game modes. And oh no, Alicia. <laughs> Negative nine. 18, negative 10, negative 7, Caleb, positive 6, 32, negative 9, 1, 17 for me, 17 for Max, Michael, okay. I got a lot, I thought I was going to win, but the, the negative 25. Yeah. 25. Caleb, you win! <laughs> yep. You won. You, you, put, you putting that down there screwed me over. Yeah. Gave me a lot yeah, of negative A lot points. more negative because it it's a multiplier. So times, yeah, four more. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I screwed up on my last one dropping this one here because I should have been. I should have put it on the board to multiply my yo-yos. Yo-yos more. more. Yeah. I accidentally covered one of the yo-yos too. Yeah. So there's some additional game modes as well. So uh, there's these forklifts, which mm. you can place to actually then uh, attach different areas. So like if I wanted to attach my yo-yos here and my tamagotchis here. Mm. So this tamagotchi attached to there, this yo-yo is attached to there now because of the forklift. Oh wow. Uh, and then the other, uh, I forget what these ones do exactly, but there's a different game mode with those. And then there's also these little kitty, chromatic kitties. Mm -hmm. And basically you have these cards out in a row at the beginning and whoever has the lowest card each round will also grab one, will trade in their card for one of these and they're kind of a wild, except you'll mark off one of the types of toys here. Mm. And then another, the second person will mark off a type of toy. And whatever toys are not marked off, that's the wild that it counts as, the both of those. Ooh, ooh, ooh. that's brutal. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You kind of have to build around that or have options with your wild, right? <laughs> 
that overstocked. It's a cute game. I like it. Yeah. Quick, easy. Yeah. A lot it's of replay. Nature. A lot of replayability. A little puzzle building. I like it. It's good. I like the toys. Reminds <laughs> me of childhood. Uh -huh. right? Very nostalgic toys. Yeah. <laughs> Probably a good choice there. Additional game modes too, I suppose. So yeah. you have a little bit more replayability and changing. Kind of reminds me of the, the Tate's game. Yeah. Uh -huh. I can't remember what it's called. Something about cats. Yeah. Is it the cat Sudoku game? Yes. Yes. Cat Doku? <laughs> or cat Sudoku? Maybe that's it. <laughs> All right, so we just pick out two of these. Yes. Well, the jester is always going to be one of them, though, right? Oh yeah, correct. Yeah, the jester is one, that's, and then two others. All right, here's one for Vita. Game and is very very lightweight too. It's just the card and a B token. And we did before. Easy to carry and travel with. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And each player will get a coin and a set of tokens. Ooh. Yes. Me like you. You can, you can hear the metal coin. <laughs> All right. So Vita Moors plays up to six players. It's kind of a hidden team game. Uh, not a lot of bluffing, but a lot of like management like control. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So each player is going to be getting some um, items they'll be utilizing. Purple, please. Thank you. In an attempt to uh, persuade people to vote for their side, regardless of whether they want to or not. <laughs> yeah, they're kind of like little extra abilities that you one use only for the game. I'm and playing then, as the green reaper. And then the moors and the Vita will go there. <laughs> Thank you. And then there's also the first player token. Now they're both in Vita though, so they just are going to be both Vita or no? No, 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 that's still life or death. It, these don't go with these. Oh, okay. Well, they do, right? This, mm -mm. no. No, this says Vita. You need one of each color. And Vita. So, oh, okay, so no way wants, so this is gonna be a nothing land then for, for winning. Or what you don't want, yeah. I see. For six. Uh, for a five player game? Do you put uh, the two or one? Says, oh, I think it's. I or think it's just five, five tokens. tokens. I think that's it. Yeah, okay. you have all of them. All of those. Here you go. We'll go to top down. So Vita Moors, ages 10 and up, 15 to 30 minutes, 3 to 6 players. Here's the top down view. You can see we all have our player tokens and our coin. Double sided, so it, pretty much everything in this game you're talking about either the Vita side, which is the sun and life, represents life, or the Moor side, which is the moon and represents death. We also have this cute, you see a little plague doctor figurine who we as Grim Reapers are trying to influence in order to make sure what happens aligns with our philosophy as Grim Reapers. So we'll each have a hidden role, which is this little mask token here and everyone can go ahead and peek and oh there should be dark ones that go here too oh yeah I put oh. it back in the box okay is there a point to those yeah it tells you which one is which yeah so this is ah yes and so everyone... if you're playing this one here you want what exactly do you need to, the rule book yeah is it just four cards in the Vita area? I think so. And this one here is having one of each type of faction in the Vita area, which means the Moors oh. area can be dumped as many cards as we want. Okay, so the for the Vita, for Vita, 
It's three characters live during four consecutive rounds. Mm -hmm. oh. So we have to play at least four rounds and three characters live con consecutively. That hard. Yeah. Yeah, so three in a row. And then the jester is, we need, uh, the person who's the jester, it's a five-player game, will need ten characters out before somebody else wins. Yes. So when ten cards are out, it doesn't matter with Vito or Moors, if that happens, you win. So you're trying to kind of stop these two things from happening. Oh. Having, having mm -hmm. four people, after four rounds, having three characters live. So if it's... it's In a row. Yeah. In a row. Mm -hmm. So death, life, 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 is that okay? Yep. Okay. So what would it would be a, a not so uh, death uh, life death life life would not work correct but life death life 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 would mm -hmm. but it has to be f at least four yep okay so it couldn't be life 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 that wouldn't do it no you need to play four around mm -hmm. what if it's three life and one death uh there'd still be three in a row it the way it's worded is three characters live during four consecutive rounds. Okay, so, so I think yeah. any four rounds, three characters consecutively in a row. Okay. All right. Uh, ready to expand the game? Yes. Okay. So um, these are the different characters here that we'll be drawing from and sort of determining their fate. Over here, Michael already explained the different win conditions based on what um, sort of team we're on. And you'll notice here there's two rows that are important. So the Vita or the Moors. Vita means the character lives. Moors means the character dies. So the first player, do you guys want me to be first? Sure. Okay. Uh, we'll take the round token marker and the plague doctor and choose one of the decks here to reveal. And I'll go to the middle between life and death, between Vita and Moors. Then the play doctor will do a diagnosis of Vita or Moors, and then every player will take their token, the so one side for Vita, one side for Moors, and secretly, secretly um, hide it. And then we'll each have, everyone will have a chance to play one of their tokens if they'd like. And you can't play ability. Well, you can't play a token on somebody who already had a token on Yep. Them. And you can only play one token per round. And once they're gone, they're used. So the different tokens are um, this this one you see the Vita and Moors, it's kind of flipped. That will reverse someone else's vote. The lock here will make their vote not count this round. The little Grim Reaper here will be played on the Grim Reaper and make the Grim Reaper's diagnosis actually count towards the vote. And then this one here, uh, the little coin, will make someone's vote count twice. So someone else's vote count twice. Those are the different tokens you have. And once they're gone, they're gone. And you'll see we'll go, uh, this guy will move that way, we'll do our our tokens though this uh clockwise okay so i'm going to choose and you'll notice here too so for group two wants to get one of each type of character to live so just one of each type that's all they could actually win in the third round <laughs> if if possible and then You'll notice here too, not all of the characters in the deck are necessarily going to be that color. The little diamonds here says, okay, there could be some pretenders in here that are actually green characters. And there could be a couple pretenders in here that are actually purple instead of green. And over here, there could be green or brown in the purple deck. So just because you choose the purple deck doesn't, there's a greater chance you'll get a purple but not 100%. Okay. Okay. Let me see. What am I? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and now I'm going to go ahead and I'll choose from the purple deck. Let's go. And I'll place mm -hmm. that here. So in between life and death. Probably want to space these out a little so we can clear. Okay. 
and then each of the characters, some of them at least, if they're not pretended, have special abilities as well. So this is the king. The king. If the king survives, the actual class of the character revealed next becomes an aristocrat. So purple is aristocrat. So if he survives, the next character to survive will also be purple, no matter what color it they is. show. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess to maybe e explain that, you'd put it, like, attach it kind of to this guy, like, just so that... You yeah, yeah, remember. we could see that, so we see that it's purple. Okay. And we can, because it kind of has, you see, any color to purple. Okay. All right, so everyone, I'm going to put the Plague Doctor, Plague Doctor, who's also the tiebreaker in an even player game, or, well, I guess it could happen either way. Plague Doctor, like, yeah, this guy's gonna live. So remember, Max, if you want to be Moors, it's gonna be the moon. It has a little moon. And if you want to be life or the sun, it's gonna be this little sun here. And you're gonna vote for whatever it is you want. Okay. I have my vote. Everybody has their vote? Yeah, don't reveal yet. Max, do you want to use a token? Nope. Michael, do you want to use a token? Mm, not yet. No. Okay. No. All right, no one wants to use a token. Reveal. Okay, we have four, four lives and one death. Okay. So it's going to go up. And the next person is also going to be purple. Yes. So no matter what they are, they'll be purple. And also no matter where they go? Yeah. Okay. So here, this will go to Caleb next. And you get the Plague Doctor, and you'll choose a character there. I'll choose green. Okay. So this is actually a purple, but it does have an ability. Let's see. Uh, could be from the expansion. Fancy secret ability? Uh, <laughs> yes. I don't see it in here, Michael. It's in there. No, this is... Is it somewhere? No. No. Okay. Is there no expansion page? No. Those little ones that that one that What's on here? This is a different language. Different language, different language. There's, it's somewhere around. Maybe look under the table. I guess you can just d dump that okay. one. Okay, we'll, we'll, or we could say it's a pretender. Doesn't have an ability. So there are a couple of expansion cards that um, have some additional abilities. Uh, no, these are all for the other game. Okay. Yeah, it can be a pretender. I do. No, it isn't a pretender. It's just a green one. Yeah. Sorry. I do see his card on here though, right there. Yeah, yeah but it's not. The, but it doesn't say. It's the expansion though. Yeah. Okay, it's, okay. it's a purple one anyway. Okay. Oh so, wait, he's right there. Oh, he is. He's a merchant. Activates instantly after it's revealed. All players secretly choose a privilege token and pass it to the player to the player left to them simultaneously. Okay, so take your your guys here. Choose one you don't want. Oh, they're also good. And secretly pass it to the left. Thank you. And now we have some different options. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And they go face up once they're face down, they're gone. All right. And now, now Caleb vote. is going to diagnose. Oh, yeah. Death. Ooh. Okay. We got, my, got our votes. Uh, we have to choose this, right? Yeah, so I go first. Um, yeah, I'll use a token. 
I'm going to use my lock <clears throat> on Caleb. So he has to... I oh, can't. can't. My vote doesn't so his count. So vote won't count. Max, ahead, Max, you want to put a token out? Nope. Um, I don't either. I won't either. Caleb? This means that his... He, he counts, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, and we all reveal, reveal except for Caleb. Sun, 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 moon, moon. Mm. That, that he wins. Lives. He lives. He lives. And this just goes back to you and you put, put the face down. Yep. And this one as well is down. So we have two people out of the, uh, yep. out of the full three. And they're both purple. Yeah. Okay. Which now, doesn't matter in this case. Yeah. Alicia's turn. Okay. What? I'll do brown. What is that? <laughs> it is a girl with a ponytail. No, it's just just the symbol. Oh. It it's not on here. Mm-mm. She's in the expansion. But that looks like purple. See, it shows a purple yeah. card at the bottom. So Just maybe... draw a new one then. It's all right. Move on. Same, same, yep. How about that? A green one. Oh, so this one's a pretender. So no special ability. Okay. So it's actually a green one. <laughs> <laughs> what is the plague doctor's diagnosis? He dies. <gasps> Okay, everyone chooses their vote. Okay. Wait, and then one Abilities. second. Yeah. It's Caleb. It's me. Mm-hmm. He counts as well. Uh, I will not use a token. I will not use a token. Mm. Change your vote. Mm. <laughs> Double your vote. <laughs> All right. And reveal. reveal. One. So it's one, two. This is, okay. Yeah, you one, two, three moons. Yes. One, two, three, four, four suns. Life. Life. That one's great. Oh, yeah. Okay. And that goes back to you. This comes so, back to me. It looks like <laughs> both teams are on track because they want four, mm-hmm. three in a row, but four rounds here. But also, does that mean next two, round they just win? Um, it, two could win because if the first player is group two and they get a brown one here then they would win. But this is three in a row already. Yep. I think, yeah, default of the group this, one. This guy can win. However, she, these guys can still win. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. you have a purple and you have a green. Mm-hmm. You need a brown here. Mm-hmm. And you're the next plague doctor. Or, no, you, you are. No, you doctor. are, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I... We'll draw. <laughs> we'll <just> give away <laughs> what he is. Oh. Death. What's the vote on it? What does uh, that mean? That one's the night. The night during the Grim Reaper's judgment, the host votes and exercises privilege after other players have voted and exercised privilege. Hmm. So you don't have to even place your vote yet until everyone has done their vote and their tokens that they want. They can so they can't change my vote then. They could, could they lock me out? They could lock me out, right? Yeah. Okay. They just can't make oh. me change my vote because I didn't have yeah. a vote to begin with. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Um. Alicia, you get to decide for an um, ability. No. No? Caleb? Um, no. 
Dirty. <laughs> I'm going to double. <laughs> double my vote? Yep. Mm. All right. I'm going to. Oh, now, now Michael. Get, everyone everyone voted, should have voted before they use their tokens. Yeah. And now Michael gets to vote and he can do a token. I'm going to flip you. Okay. <laughs> okay. And you guys can now reveal. Mine doesn't count. Moon. So mine will be flipped. Sun. Moon. moon. Oh, wow. Everything. I choose sun. And I double the sun. Well, you were supposed to do that before we reveal. Oh, I we thought you would. Oh, choose you, at the very end. Yeah. Okay, well, my vote would have been moon then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy unanimous. He dies. He dies. All right. Okay, so one wins. Yes. Yes. Who's won? <laughs> there has to be another one. It's not me. The My one. <laughs> wow. Oh, I thought it was you, Alicia. No, she was oh. a joker. She was uh, messing around. All right, let's do another one. Yes. I was now two. Now, now, now you I got know how it Also, this one don't like as much. Yeah, the, the three in a row, live or die. That was hard. Hard to stop, huh? Yeah. Okay. Did you shuffle these? Yeah. I did the purple ones. Maybe the new the first player. All right. Since you didn't get to go last turn. That's fine. Sometimes that happens. Um, there should be a purple token. Uh, it's in front of Caleb. Oh, because I played it on him. Yeah. Okay. You just didn't take it back. All right. And we're once again back to it. Um, in this case here, Morris has to get one of each of these colors or three <laughs> of one of these colors. So three purple. For Moors will be number two, or uh, three green, or three brown, or mm -hmm. one of each. Whatever happens first. So the Grim Reapers are feeling like death is <laughs> more preferable right now. I'm going to start out with the green. I knew it. And it's actually a purple. It's going to go right here in the middle to start. I literally knew it. All right, and then <laughs> we're gonna do our. Um, to we're gonna vote first. Yes. Right. You're gonna pick your. Yeah, pick your. Plague doctor has diagnosed more. Okay. Our votes, and then I will choose to not use a token. Here you go. <laughs> oh, oh I flip. Okay. I will not use a token. I will not use a token. Reveal. Moon. Since I had a flip line. So sun. So wow. Four, you flipped into, okay, moon, 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 moon. Four, five, mm -hmm. and one sun. <laughs> this is going to go here, and this will return to you. Okay. Okay. You're My up. turn. All right. We'll go, uh, go here, I think. Okay. Oh. Ooh, let's see what this was. Assassin. If the assassin lives, players won't have to discard the used privilege token during this round. So you can get your token back if the assassin lives this round. Mm, that's yeah. good for the Joker, I guess, in this case. Yeah. Plague Doctor. Most people are going to want him to die. I think so. Well, maybe. maybe not, though, because maybe number two doesn't want that to happen, because that's mm -hmm. two of the three that's needed. Mm -hmm. huh. That's true. I'm going to check where I, I am again. Plague Doctor says death. I bet it does. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has their vote? Yep. Yep. Okay, start with Max. Do you want to use a token? 
You're doubling your vote. Okay. Michael. Now, if I lock you out, does that just cancel the double? No, no. I, I can't be played on now. Oh, yeah, yeah, I have yeah. one token played on me. Hmm. Hmm. You're doubling your vote. Ooh. You're doubling your vote. <laughs> <laughs> How are we going to go for a full round of everybody gets Chaos. doubled? <laughs> Caleb? <laughs> no. Pass. I will pass as well. <laughs> two, four, five versus two. Three. 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 Plus that one, so four. So. The, the... Uh, not, no, this one doesn't count. He's just a tiebreaker unless That's you play this card here. Yeah. Ah. So it, it is two, four... Five okay. versus one, two, three. The assassin lives, and wow. everyone who used the token gets it back. Yes. Here you All go. right. Uh, crazy, crazy. Okay, Caleb, your turn. All that right. Was a fun little combo. <laughs> oh, it's purple again. Lovely. It goes in the middle. Yep. Am I again? Okay. <laughs> we all know what Caleb pretend is now. <laughs> the purple one. All right. Uh, the witch doctor goes out, or the plague doctor? Plague doctor. What's the diagnosis? Hmm. Death. Wow, I'm very surprised. <laughs> okay, everyone has their vote. Place uh -huh. it in. Place their hand out when you're ready. Hmm. Okay, I start. I will not use a token. Hmm. I will not use a token. Double your vote. <laughs> um. Oh, wait, at least you go next. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. No. All right. It doesn't count. And you're not. You didn't do yours, Kelly. Right? Nope. Okay. Already. Reveal. Oh. One, two, three, and Versus the plague doctor beats two. the tie. <laughs> well, it was two and two because Alicia was locked. Sorry, right, it's three and two. Oh, three and you two. Alicia, uh, Alicia didn't count. Okay. Yep. All right. Token goes to Alicia. Plague doctor goes to Alicia. All right, I like where this is going. <laughs> What's that? Green. He's just an impersonator. Okay. Live. Hmm. Okay. Caleb, you can choose to start with your token. Um I will play this on Michael. This is gonna be a lot of interesting bits on Caleb. Uh nothing for me. Mm -hmm. I don't care about this vote. Nothing for me. Alright. Reveal. I knew somebody was okay. going to use that on me. Uh-huh. Flipped. Alright. Three moons and two suns. It means death. <laughs> yeah, I could have stopped you, number one. But I didn't care enough to. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you actually use your tokens? Well, i got plenty of tokens left. Okay. The ball's in my court now. Oh, and we're looking for purple. Green. Imposter. An imposter. Death. Vote. Okay. 
I heard Alicia, you started off if you want to use any of your tokens. Oh yeah. Um no, that's okay. Pass. On Michael. <laughs> Hmm. What a lot, Caleb. Me not being in is minus one, but I'll make your vote become mine. <laughs> That's it. That's Reveal. It. Flip the sun nice. to the moon. Beautiful. Who's on my team? They should be helping. Ah, welcome oh. to death. <laughs> you should have voted the opposite way because I knew <laughs> what you knew and you knew I could do it. That's I love a, the shenanigans. The double, the yeah, double the, bluff. That's scary because there are other players too. Mm -hmm. All right. You're the new first player, Max. Let's go with Brown. Another green. Yep. What the are the chances play? on that? What Death. did the plague doctor <laughs> say? The plague doctor says life. Okay. Why no, it's life? an imposter. Why would you want it to live? Yeah, imposters need to die. <laughs> Vote. <laughs> okay. And it starts with Michael. With me. I'm just going to remove you. It's a lot easier than having to change your vote. This guy's vote will count. Okay. Mm -hmm. The doctor is in. Caleb. Double me, my friend. Yes, double <laughs> me, gum. <laughs> Don't pick the wrong person. Oh my. Double me, Max. Okay. I won't play a token. Uh, Revealios. Uh, Oops, I put it the wrong one. You're locked, well, you're locked out. out anyways. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I have three. And I then have... it's, so, it's, so it's three moon and one, two, three sun. Wow. And Four. this Four. counts. And it would break a tie. So we, okay. we lose out on this one, Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh, I'm out of tokens now. This isn't good. It's getting too close for the, the gesture okay. to win. Yeah. Yeah. How many? Ten? Six. Ten. Ten. Well, oh. We're on seven now. Oh. Caleb, oh. your turn. No, me. Oh. It is... The... the gypsy, it looks like. Yes. Prophet. Is that even a word we can use now? In... It's a prophet. A prophet, okay. Activates That's instantly forward. after it's revealed. Reveal one card from each, the top of each character deck and leave them where they're revealed. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, that's oh. nice. Okay. So, oh, this is what that means. C. Okay. Okay. And the plague doctor says, uh, death. death. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that stops my, sure. my last token's no good now. <laughs> Welcome to team life, Alicia. <laughs> okay, Max, you're first. Make sure it's the right one. Oh. No token. Uh, no token for me. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any tokens to play. <laughs> That on the plague doctor. Okay. Thank you. All right. Re and reveal. reveal. Sun, sun. Oh, death. Yeah. Oh, I'm locked out. Uh, death wins it. Because mm -hmm. the plague doctor has a vote that Who's counts. Who's on my team then? Okay, well, yeah, so it's me and Alicia for, for one and two, and then Max and Caleb for... Two, and then the play doctor finishes it, and that kills us. Well, kills, well, it ends the game. Uh, yeah. And it's purple, green, and a yellow here. Which means Callie wins, and I don't know who their teammate is now. That was Max. Yeah. What oh, is Max? Yeah, the jester. Uh, I yeah, thought you were on my team. How come you voted yeah. for it to die? 
Two. Oh. <laughs> That's the one card we didn't want. The very uh, card. It could be well, one of know. each. Well, okay. We, you, we, want, you wanted a purple or a green. Yes, yeah, so we had two oh, of each. Oh, I see. Piece, but we missed out on the last one. Oh. Uh, and that's it. That's the game. Yep. yep. Tricky. <laughs> <laughs> How the, the objectives change each time. Oops. All right. We'll clean this one up real quick. And we have one more game. Soloween. And there'll be two players who want to play that game. So this is a fun little just game just to do with a bunch of people. Yeah. Um, Vita Morn. Kind of a hidden role game, but your role can become obvious, but it doesn't ruin the game. Yeah. If it is. So I like that about it. Yep. Tokens. I love these metal coins. They're nice. Thank you. Uh, there was a little bag for the coin, too. Uh, I found the other side of the table. I'm not going with. Okay, so this is a two player game. So, which of you people would like to play? One for each. You want to play it, Caleb? <laughs> um, mm, Sounds no. like. Uh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> you want to be a cheerleader? Right, Alicia, Back to Alicia the play. and Callie can play with each other. Yeah. <laughs> we could play it on teams, kind of, right? I mean, sure. Can be uh, Alicia, uh, not Alicia, uh, Callie and Max, and me and Alicia then. All right. Good. So the main question of this game is: there's different variants to play, and here are the options. And you guys, you two gals, can choose which one you'd like to play. The variants that are I'm going to te teach you are going to be one of the base ones, not the expansion. And by teach you, I mean play with you for my first time ever. <laughs> but I read the rules. So um, the first couple options are, this is the main teacher, he's the basic, the base mode of the game. And then you have like the Stitches of Fate, where you're trying to do different types of patterns. Uh, there's the Anubis, um, and I can't remember the last girl's name, but basically you're trying to prevent your opponent from playing uh, one of the two different colors. And then these guys here will kind of make you switch back and forth as to like how you can play the game. And every, at the end of every one of your turns, you can flip your guy and change uh, the way the game plays. Uh, easiest is this one. Um, changes the patterns is this mm -hmm. one. And then the other one's kind of lock players out. Okay. Maybe we should play the base one at least first. Um, they're they're very simple. The game is very simple yeah. either way. You can play whatever one you want. Okay. You know, I wouldn't worry about playing the base game if you want to play something more interesting. Let's play the different pattern ones then. Yeah? Sure. Okay. Okay. So I'll move these guys out of the way and I'll do a top-down mode. You can go ahead and set that in the middle, give each player reference cards. And Caleb can be our um, referee. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Foul. <laughs> And I'll even, I could even increase the zoom. Yeah, zoom in a little. Everyone can see. We've got a little cloth um, mat here as a board. Got the card and tokens. And then there's also some larger tokens that Michael will bring over. It's like, or Alicia will. In the, yeah. All right. We're not playing with the base dude. He's going to go away. Okay. Okay, so here's the game, and these are the characters. In order to win, you're going to need one of each of the tokens. Each team will need one of each token. And there are three types of tokens, and you can organize this to make it look fancy. These are just the, the characters. For this mode? Yes. Okay. So there are three things you do in this game. You're going to place one of these down on either side in one of the squares here, and this is a four by four grid. And remember you can choose either side, so green or you can choose orange. Uh, then, after you've placed one of these guys down, 
you will flip any adjacent tokens. So for instance, if this was here and I placed this down, every adjacent up, down, left, right token is going to flip. Hmm. Just like that. Really easy. After you flip, you try and reap. In order to reap, you must have four tokens in a line. And they have to be the same color. You'll take all of those tokens off of the board and you'll score a point. Now, in this game mode, there are three unique ways of which you can score. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and grab that out. It's right here on the reference card. Oh, it is on the back side. Yep. That's perfect. So the scrolls here are going to let you score when you have four like that. Two by two. The, of the scythe. Same color. Yep. The scythe is going to let you score uh, when you have. It looked like that. Kind of like a L Check. or yeah. a knight in chess. It's a scythe. And the final way is the needle. And the needle will let you score diagonally. Or it'll let you score horizontally. So just like in the normal base mm -hmm. mode of the game. So the new modes are a square and the scythe. Okay. So score once normally, once like a square, once like a uh -huh. scythe. And you and one of each of these tokens to win. For the game. needle, it could be a row as well. Not it, could just be, a column. it could be like yeah. this. Yeah. Okay. It could be like that. Yep. Any way mm -hmm. you want it to work. Okay. If you place something down, so let's say that this looked like this. And you place this on the green side and these flipped over. And now you've got two. You can choose either of these to remove. If you choose one, the other will remain. Mm -hmm. Another thing that you can do too is when you place, so let's say the board looked like this. Uh, yeah, this is fine. And you place down. Even if you didn't make it yourself, if this exists on the board, you can reap and claim. Okay. And that is the game. Because you can only claim one of each too, so you might accidentally leave one on the board. You might have to. You normally yeah. you're not going to leave one of you know it's normally not going to happen. Yeah. Normally it's going to be there's going to be 3 that you'll leave down. All right. Okay. And I'll move these over a little bit and I'll check the camera, make sure it's all visible. We're good. It's a little there's a little angle we can crooked. <laughs> okay. It's the camera. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> And we'll start with um, the person who last, I don't remember what it was, scared somebody. Or the person who last was scared. I was scared and playing Dead by Daylight. <laughs> I count. Sure. You may go ahead and go. Place. Okay. Flip. And okay. the first extra lights and souls. Yeah, it doesn't matter too much. Nope. I'll place right there. There are, these four spaces are the best spaces in the game. Yeah, they'll have the most. Around them. The most okay. changes. <laughs> okay. This is a tough one. <laughs> Today, Junior. I'm going. But it's here. These will go like this. Yeah. Hmm. You can we get the square. But then it's not. It's gonna be the wrong color. Mm hmm. You place just like that, and these will flip over, uh -huh. and now we've got a square, and we oh. take them off. I realized after I played it. <laughs> and we take a scroll. Thank no you. Fish. Thank you. <laughs> Max, your turn. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like Oni Tommy, I think, the chess game, but you have only a certain type of move. Remember, these are front and back. There's, they're not. Yeah. It doesn't matter which one you take. Hmm. 
I have to think about it. <laughs> How they change. It's a no, Tyrannosaurus Rex meets a mm. Japanese cartoon. <laughs> yeah, well, what that's supposed to idolize is a whole nother issue. Okay. Maybe. No, I can't do that. Okay. <laughs> no, I can't do that. <laughs> Uh, I guess it's safe. Sometimes, like in chess, the best move is not to make a move. Yeah, make... Make your opponent make a mistake. Uh-huh. Alicia's turn. Mm. <laughs> mm. But you don't want to do something that would... Know. What? This is not. Okay, this is right there. Okay. All right, Max, you're up. Yep. Thinking. It's okay, Kyle. He can make a move. Uh, you don't need to help him. Uh, yes. I. My question is, what happens if the board fills up? I guess maybe it can't. Because ones around it will flip and something will be... Something will turn into something? Yeah. Eventually? Eventually. <laughs> mm, are you sure you wanted to do that? Oh, tasty. <laughs> No. Did you get the oh. If I place this here, it'll oh, yeah, flip. Yeah. yeah. Well, I can place be, this here. I know. Here. <laughs> I know. I, I, as soon as I had put it down, you got, I you saw it. You could go there too to make a check. Yeah, it's up to you, Alicia. Do you want to make? I know. So you see, you can. Well, I thought you had already done that move. That's why I pointed it oh, out. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, it doesn't matter to me. They're, they're getting each of them is the same to me. Take a yep. You giving me the just letting well, me know what I could have done. No, I just well to explain to the audience as well okay, the okay. the visual option there. Um. It's not over yet. Mm -mm. We scored two in a row, so can they? Unless she makes that move, Michael. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Alicia, it's up to you. She gave us the win. <laughs> no, I didn't. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you got all nervous for a second, though, didn't no. you? No. I know I did not. <laughs> You're like. Mm -hmm. Or did they? <laughs> but did they? Michael with his psychological warfare gameplay. <laughs> Very much so. Oh no. Sometimes the best move is to not make a move. Yeah. Just play something that you know we can't win. Can I put one to remove some? 
if even if we already got a square, can I get nope. another square? Mm -mm. So I won't be able to remove if it. If you play that, it will stay there. Um, and then we'll get it. Yeah, you can only take one token of each of each kind and only once per turn. So that is, yeah, we are stuck with just one more left. We have to get the reaping. Uh-oh, you helped him. Or did you? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. No. Um, it's not as easy. It's not going to be as the, easy as you think. If you do... Serious business, Mom. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, over here, you're gonna need them. Well, <laughs> I'm looking at. The if I do the move I'm thinking, we can take any of the tokens we want. Uh, are you it. sure? No, yeah. explain it to me first. So, if I <laughs> go green here, then the these two will flip green. We can take and the this scythe. One's red. Sorry, so we can either take the scythe. How do you take the scythe? The it has scythe to be is diagonal. Just like chess, once you place it, that's it. So if you let, you better think it all out. Mm. Or like this, and then one here, or one there. You can't take a piece right now. No. You, you can't score right now. Yeah. And we just have to make sure they don't score a sight. She gave you false hope. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought I saw something at first. Yeah, no, I thought I saw it too, which that's is... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Go, um... Go right here as green. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, that'll allow us yep. to get a needle. Good. Perfect. <laughs> we will take the needle. Uh, boss, hope there was an option. <laughs> yeah, there was an option. Just have to calm down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Cooler head shall prevail. You're up. Mm -hmm. You're lucky I'm not playing with a chest timer. You'd be in trouble. Uh, no. <laughs> we can do... Yeah. Gotta give you a point here or there just to make it balance. <laughs> Gotta balance the game out a little bit. Uh-huh. You're not going to be able to dig your way out this time. Mm -hmm. It's a reference to last week. She doesn't have me on her team now. <laughs> Come on now. I don't. I don't like it. <laughs> These options. Okay. Okay. We'll go. Okay. Yes. No. What do you guys need? The scythe? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Ooh, that's pretty tasty. <laughs> All right. Good turn, Alicia. Hmm. Okay. Okay, Max, you know what to do. A square. A square. We did it. Yep. We can also take the diagonal. No, yeah. we already got the needle. No, the scythe. The oh, diagonal. the scythe. We can take the scythe. Oh, maybe that's better. Hmm. No, you got the square. Right, so we you did, get the you square. did. You started picking up the square. Did, did he? Oh. I, I put it down. It doesn't matter to me. Go yeah, ahead. No, right. no. Go for it. It's all also right. choice. So, no, no, we're no, no you got to You started taking the square though. It's it's choice in the rules. You can choose which well, one you take when you put the. Did you take the square or not? When when you t did you grab them all off the table or not? No, no. He okay. grabbed just one or two. That's I don't fine know. then. It's fine. I don't, I don't care. Mm -hmm. So he needs. They need a square. Mm hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. You're up, Callie. Okay. You're making a you're making a comeback. <laughs> You're up. You know what she's trying to do, right? Make a square. Yeah, she wants to put a green one there and flip mm. the other two. So you need to put a red one there. Well, let's see. If you do that, wait, 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 wait. If you mm. do that, she can still mess. She can still do it. So you're going to need to... You need to put a green one over here. That way she can't convert both of them. So if she puts either mm -hmm. color, one will switch. Otherwise she would just place one right here, flip that one and take them the square. Okay. And the scythe is definitely the harder one to get. Mm -hmm. Especially with another opponent needs just the square or just the line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like a line is the one you'd want to leave for last. <laughs> That makes this impossible. If I place this here, that will turn them. She'll have to turn all these. She's very difficult at this time. Okay. okay. That was the play. Uh, Make you think a little bit yeah. now. No free wins here. <laughs> uh, not great, I think. You have the advantage, so just placing yeah. anywhere is going to help you. As long as it doesn't help us. Any like dead zone is gonna help you. Uh -huh. The square is easier to make. Okay. So I literally, yeah, I'm fine. All right, you're up, Alicia. Okay, Mac. Okay, let them get a sight. You can, trust me. You just <laughs> don't do anything. So. We just want to scythe you. Make it easy. <laughs> Make, yeah. Do the right thing. Make the right choice. No squares May for you. Maybe here? Yes. Uh, <laughs> no? Not a terrible move. No, a terrible move for us. Not that, hurt, that hurts us. Yeah. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay. It helps, I mean, then. No, I we can't go there. No, we can't go there. Well, the better question is, is what areas could they make a scythe? Yeah, I, I see. Yeah. We need to... Maybe here. Is that okay? We'll what see. If we go here and flip it, that spot's completely useless then, which would make them have to use a space. 
What? Otherwise, they would no, win. no, you can't go there. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, you here. can't go there. <laughs> they will win automatically. <laughs> <laughs> We're in a very fortuitous spot yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah, because you played there. Uh, I see quite a number me, of different uh, ways good. that they could win. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, those are green. If you do nothing, you lose two. And that's red. <laughs> And then they'd have to flip that one, but they wouldn't. So I'm a Unless... princess bride. <laughs> he took the potion. <laughs> they... Maybe he took the potion and get the they... for me. Then Those it might be will for always me. be opposite wherever they play. But he knew okay, I'd I think do you that. play here. We would play their red or green. Oh, um. Either one. The opposite one, green. All right. I think. All right, now I have to think about how I want to be fortuitous in this situation. <laughs> There's so many ways for me to win there. <sighs> is there? There was. There was, yeah. There was, yeah, there was. If now there is. Now it's, now I have to think. Uh -huh. Still might be able to pull it off, though. Changing these two. Yeah. Was not good. Yeah. If you were to play here or here, we're going to There's only... <sighs> oh, I meant the opposite color. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be hard uh, for you to get this yeah. now. No, we, we can't. I know. But I still have to figure out how to cite this up, and I don't know if I can. I don't know if there's a way. It's because they're duality, it's easy to get them mixed up in your head. <laughs> if you place a green one here, does it flip all of those no, green? No, just no, the adjacent just ones. Just adjacent. And those would go green, but this would go red, so... I think this might be the play. If I make a mistake, I make a mistake, I guess. Put it back in me? their put it back in their court again, maybe? Yeah. Um I think we get it then. You did. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> Damn it. And there's a square. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And then that one will flip over red. Oh yeah. Dang it! All you right, win. Yeah, yay! <laughs> we did it. So much for Mike thinking we couldn't win. <laughs> the underdogs no, prevailed. He he did say that uh, we could, you know, get a couple in a row and just like they did. So yes, they had very strong start. Uh, one one <laughs> mis that was my mistake. Well, I don't know. I just don't know what it's else, hard, yeah, there's, else to play. There's less spaces at the end, which makes it more challenging. We, well, we, the mistake we made was not getting the scythe when you told us we could have gotten it afterwards, which then you told us we couldn't get it. <laughs> Whoa. Well, I well, <laughs> we shouldn't have gotten the scythe either then. No. We should have gotten the square then. <laughs> anyway, that was it was fun. It was really, um, what do you call it? Mind bendy. My brain was getting racked there at the end. Uh -huh, uh -huh. This had, game was a lot of fun. I, I like this. This all we had to do was when it was like this is, was just place anything right here to flip that and take the scythe. Yeah. But we never gave us a chance to because you kept switching these guys yeah. over. Mm -hmm. This is cute. The pieces are nice, high yeah. quality. Yeah, I like mm -hmm. the. Um, They're very thick. Wooden tokens, yeah. Nice quality there, and the bright color on the black is really cute. The artwork is cute too. I did. Maybe if there were some other, well, I guess they kind of have, the artwork is kind of symbolic of what the game mode is. Um, and then the cards, reference cards, explain each game, game mode too, which is nice. Yeah. I mean, oh, like show the, the box too, Alicia. There it is. Yeah. And we'll bring out all the games we've played tonight. And we'll pick our favorites. And then we'll call it a quits. <laughs> Three games. Good enough for you guys. <laughs> oh, yes. All right, we'll okay. start with the first one. Overstocked. Anybody's favorite of the bunch? 
No? I no think, takers? <laughs> it I think fun. it's my favorite. Yeah, I liked it a lot because of the visual nature and really quick and easy. You could just take it wherever, on plane, on a um, trip, because it's a very small box. Friendly. Yeah. Works good. Six players. Yeah. Not, and a I lot, could... not a lot to like have to like rules wise mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. there's enough um, differentiation between them. Yes. It's a good game. I could easily play it with any of my coworkers, which is always a plus. It's too puzzly for me. Um, <laughs> my brain was wrapped halfway through the game, <laughs> but uh, otherwise it's good. I can see a lot of people really enjoying it. Mm -hmm. And I like, and the all the I like all the different nostalgic pieces. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And then we have Vilmore's Life and Death. Almost all the rules are, are all the gameplay is based in Latin, which I give it bonus points for. It <laughs> uh, has a lot of players for up to things up to six, and it doesn't feel like a deduction game. You don't have to mm -hmm. lie to each other if you don't want to play a lying game, but you can still be deceptive and like have control mm -hmm. over the pieces. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what makes that game stand out, in my opinion, are the action pieces, because you can make people do things they normally wouldn't want to do. And yeah. those players can also trick you into making you think that they're going to do something when they're not. <laughs> I haven't yeah. seen it happen yet, but it'll be cool when it does. I that aspect of it remind me of the what was that mind control mm, party yeah, game? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the one we just played. This little has that mind control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This but is this is better. a more streamlined yeah. way to do it, where there's more constrictions. I, I like the idea of being able to give my give my my opponents like any options, but with mm. anything comes too much. Yeah, uh, too much of a good. You leave thing. it open for everyone to just write. It's like yeah. Too Anybody's much. favorite for Vidamores? The yeah, theater? it was my favorite. Yeah, Vidamores was mine, and I enjoy. The quality that they put into this game, the middle pieces are very nice High touch, quality. Mm -hmm. which is quite nice. Caleb, um, I just liked the gameplay. Yeah, you like <laughs> being able to vote and switching yeah. the votes. Mm -hmm. And then Soloween, that was my favorite of the bunch. Oddly enough, uh, did you have a favorite? Well, it was Vidamores, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was. Okay. Okay. What about it? Um, I think it's a really relaxing way of playing yeah. a deduction game. This is true. <laughs> not, as, not as intense as yeah. some other yeah. hidden role team type games. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter that much if everyone knows your role. Like, yeah. They can't really screw you over so much that, like, you can't come back from it. Right. Because mm -hmm. everyone has really equal screw chance. You over once, maybe twice. Yeah. And everyone has, and you can do the same to them because everyone has an equal amount of the tokens. Yeah, Soloween is my favorite by far of these. Which you would think Vidimores almost would have done it, but I was actually really surprised with this game. Love the component quality. Uh, I love the abstract, puzzly nature of the game, where it didn't hurt my brain until the very end. Uh, otherwise, making quick decisions and choices. The vari variability in game modes, and it kind of feels a little bit like checkers and chess and. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, it's either Hamakoji or um, I can't remember the other, the other chess like game is where you like, have cards and you go? can make moves oh, based yeah. on the cards that you have and when you make that move you give it to somebody else and now they can make that move oh. so you have options and then they do and then you kind of mm -hmm. switch back and forth with those options uh, I'm sure somebody will tell me in the comment section at some point on YouTube but uh, yeah this one's really cool I like the game modes I like the variants and um, I liked how I thought that I was like I had this in the bag <laughs> up until like you didn't I didn't I, I, I made the wrong moves and it cost me but super cute, super fun, uh, really relaxing game with a bit of a mind crunchiness, but it wasn't like overpowering, I felt. But then again, I didn't like think about my moves as much. I just kind of played things. I played the rest of the variants, I think, as well. But so what I with uh, Venom Wars, too. Uh, and Overstocked, actually. They're all really great games. I actually really enjoyed all of them. I don't have a whole lot of negative to say about any of them. Maybe Venom mm -hmm. has some like complex... The, the cards are a little hard to find the, all the different... The like, symbols are a little yeah. hard to understand until once you know them you're like oh that makes sense but they're not a symbol key yet in in this that one yeah but i i i'd keep solo soloing and the more so i'd keep those games around mm -hmm. and uh overstocked is something that would go in cali's shelf i would imagine yeah yeah, yeah. Overall, though, uh, solid games. So we have uh, three for Vidamores, one for Overstocked, and one for Soloween. I guess the winner of the night is Vidamores. <laughs> and you want to pick up any three of these games? You can go so in our link in the description. All right, Kelly, take us out. All right, the links will be in the description below if you'd like to pick, check out any of these games further and or pick them up for yourself or a gift. Thank you guys for joining us for the Small Games Evening here on Twitch. We play games every Sunday, 6.30 p.m. PST on Twitch. Join us. And, of course, you can also check out unfilteredgamer.com for tons of blog reviews and giveaways. And 
if you're here watching us on YouTube, go ahead and give this video a like. You must have liked it if you watched this far through the video, <laughs> right? And if you want to see more, subscribe for more playthroughs as well as uh, reviews of board games. A lot of them that come out on Kickstarter. Uh, down below, subscribe and hit that bell notification. Oh, Michael wants me to share that he has a new computer that we'll be using to stream very soon and hopefully give a much better experience without uh, some of the technical problems that we've had in the past. So that's a really exciting news. It's going to be very fast and, and um, a lot more streamlined. All right, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, we look forward to seeing, seeing you guys, guys next time. time.